So good morning, everyone. My name is Antonia Nahul. Uh, I'm a second year PhD student uh, at Laboratoire Uber Curian in collaboration uh, with Laboratoire Georges Friedel at uh, L'Ecole des Mines de Saint-Étienne. So now I'm, now I'm going to uh, present my uh, PhD, uh, some of my PhD results during these two years about surface morphology at nanometric scale by temporal and polarization control of ultra short laser pulses. So during my thesis, we are using femtosecond laser. Uh, we are irradiating uh, nickel uh, monocrystals at the beginning now. And uh, <clears throat> we are observing uh, different types of nanostructures uh, below 100 nanometer uh, uh, height. <clears throat> okay. So I will start up uh, by introducing uh, uh, some bibliography and some uh, work uh, done by a previous PhD student, Anthony Abu Saleh. He was working on um, uh, a thesis and he observed also some uh, nanostructures. So uh, I will talk a little bit about it. And after that, I will start presenting uh, my uh, results and, uh, and also some uh, uh, surface topography uh, control uh, as a function of time delay and the laser fluence. So here I'll present some AFM images uh, for uh, the laser, the, the same laser uh, setup done by Anthony, and after that, I will show different uh, variety of nanopatterns morpho morphologies. Then uh, I will uh, discuss a little bit about uh, the role and the important role of initial surface topography on controlling the non-structure formation after laser radiation. And after that, I will uh, discuss a little bit why we are using double pulse cross polarized and why we are not using single laser pulse. And I will discuss uh, after that about uh, the effect of pulse duration on nanopeaks formation. Uh, then I will discuss about the nanopeaks mechanism. So I will choose one uh, uh, nanostructure from the observed nanostructures, and I will discuss about it uh, and about the role of pulse duration in modifying this nanostructure and mechanisms. Then I will end up uh, with discussing a little bit about the future work. So now I will start uh, introducing a little bit by the bibliography and uh, the previous work by Anthony Abu Saleh. So here Anthony Abu Saleh, he was using a femtosecond laser, uh, Legend Elite from Coherent, with a wavelength of 800 nanometer, repetition rate of one kilohertz and pulse duration of 150 femtosecond. So he was doing uh, irradiation on nickel monocrystals uh, and uh, he was uh, controlling the laser parameters, which, which are peak fluence and time delay. And uh, he found that uh, by controlling these two parameters, he was able to observe different types of nanostructures. So uh, here we have uh, from chaotic to nanopits, nanocavities, HSFL and LSFL nanostructures. So we are here controlling the time delay by using Max Zander inf interferometer. So here we have the laser and uh, we have here a uh, beam splitter and we are dividing the laser uh, in two uh, beams. And here we are uh, uh, choosing uh, different, uh, we are controlling the polarization. So here we are using cross polarized. So one, be, one will be horizontal and the other will be vertical. And here we are using uh, this uh, motorized uh, uh, plate to, uh, uh, to control the time delay. So when we are moving, this uh, plate in uh, mi micrometer uh, scale, we are controlling here the time delay on few picoseconds. So here we can uh, uh, control the time delay by using this one. And, um, and by controlling the time delay, we can also observe different types of nanostructures. So uh, here we are, we are in our experiment, we are using a polarization angle perpendicular because here also Anthony has observed that by, by changing the polarization angle, for example, when they are parallel, we are not observing the same as here. For example, here we are observing the, the, the nano cavities, and here we are observing the, only the ripples or HSFL. So we, in my experiments, I'm fixing uh, the polarization angle to be perpendicular in order to observe this type of non-structure and continue my investigation. And uh, for the number of pulses, also I'm using 25 pulses as presented here. For, uh, for this uh, experiment here, it was 25 pulses. And while increasing also the number of pulses, we, we will start having chaotic non-structures or other types. And also why uh, reducing, uh, we don't have the same non-structures. And also I will discuss about it later. 
for the pulse duration, uh, in general, I'm fixing a pulse duration of 150 femtosecond, but also while controlling the pulse duration, we can also control uh, uh, the size of uh, the non structures. So here we have the same non structure, but uh, different uh, diameter uh, uh, for 250 femtosecond uh, compared to 150 femtosecond. And for sure, we are controlling the laser fluence and time delay, and also the initial surface roughness play an, an important role. So after uh, some trials, I found also that uh, uh, the initial surface roughness uh, should be, the RA should be below five nanometer in order to, to succeed with the experiment and in order to observe uh, uh, some uh, uh, nano cavities or nano pits uh, after irradiation. So now I will start uh, presenting some of my results. Um, so here, um, uh, this results was uh, published uh, in our first article in nanomaterials uh, this year. And uh, here uh, I'm presenting also the same manip uh, as before, but uh, it's characterized on AFM with a little bit higher resolution. So, um, so here we can see also uh, how we are controlling the time delay between eight and 25 picoseconds and the peak fluence between 0.18 and 0.24 joule per centimeter square. So, so at, um, at a peak fluence between 0.20 and 0.24, and the uh, time delay between 8 and 10 here, we can observe like chaotic or chaos uh, non-structures, and uh, also maybe here. So um, when we are reducing the peak fluence to 0.18, here we start observing different types of non-structures. So at 8 picosecond, we observe uh, non-structure, we name it as nanopeaks. So here it's not too much clear as 2D AFM image, but uh, after I will present uh, three, three dimension and other images, maybe on the, uh, also on the transmission electron microscopy. So here we observe the nano peaks, so, uh, and we name it peaks because uh, it was uh, a little bit, um, uh, um, that has the shape of uh, karst peaks. So it, it was, uh, uh, the height, it was uh, around 100 nanometer and uh, the, the width, it was uh, only 20 nanometers. So we name it like nano peaks, and only by increasing the time delay by two picosecond, we we got another. We observed another types of nanostructure, and we name it nano bumps because uh, it was a lar it has larger diameter, uh, uh, so it was a little bit also more bumpy. And uh, here, by increasing the time delay by five picosecond, we observed different types of nanostructures, and here it, it's like uh, ten times smaller from A and B. So. It was uh, small, it was, uh, the height, it was around uh, 10, uh, between 10 and 20 nanometers only. Uh, so we named it as nano humps, and it's well organized. And uh, here, by, incre by increasing the time delay for 20, 22, and 25, uh, the nano structures start uh, disappearing progressively, and here at 25, we almost have nothing. It's like we are uh, uh, reducing the absorbed energy on the surface by incre increasing the time delay. And uh, if, uh, if I want to talk uh, uh, about uh, other non-structures, so here in uh, high uh, peak fluence, 0 0.24 joule per centimeter square and 25 uh, picosecond, uh, we observe the nano cavities. At, also, it was observed before with Anthony. And uh, here's the nano cavity is, um, is being observed. And uh, by reducing uh, a little bit the time delay here, we can see that uh, transition uh, a region also between uh, the chaotic and the nano cavities, and we can observe maybe some maybe ripples. And uh, here in uh, this uh, region, um, at 25 picosecond and uh, 20 joule per centimeter square, we can observe the lab the labyrinthine. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Now, if I want to present uh, the uh, three-dimension AFM images in order to understand more and to see more clear the nano observed nanostructures. So here in this image, we have 3D AFM image of the laser spot topography here and here, and we can see that it's in the spallation re regime. So we can see here the nanostructure, they are also above the surface and here. and. Uh, and also we can observe here in D when we increase the, uh, the fluence, uh, how also the uh, diameter, spot diameter also has increased compared to the other ones when it was at uh, 0 0.18. Um, so here on A, we have the nano peaks and we can see uh, that uh, they are uh, more spiky than the nano bumps and also the width are smaller. 
And, uh, and here in C and D, we can observe the nano uh, humps and nano cavities, and we can see that they are well organized. And, um, and here on the right, we can observe the maximum non structure height as a function of time delay and laser fluence. So here, uh, this one will be for A, and here for B, the nano bumps, and here for the nano humps and nano cavities. And we can clearly observe how we have wide variety of height also. And for here, it was around 100 nanometers height. And suddenly here, by just the playing with the time delay here, we, we, we got only uh, like 10 uh, uh, nanometers height. And uh, here also between 10 and 20. And another photo for uh, another image from the AFM also. So here also I'm presenting the same, but in three, three dimension. And uh, here we can see the height. So here we can see the nano peaks. It's almost 100 nanometer height, and also the nano bumps. And here the nano humps. They have uh, they are between minus nine and eight uh, nanometer. And here also between minus 20 and 10. And uh, here I want to show you a um, small video, but it's not working. Okay. Okay. So here, uh, just uh, I, I have coupled uh, some images from the SAM from the map uh, with the AFM. So just to show you also more about uh, our nano structure. So here I'm presenting the nano bombs and here the nano cavities, and now we are presenting the AFM images. So we can see in good resolution which type of nanostructures we are observing uh, while using our experiments. <coughs> and, uh, and also here by, uh, 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 by, interpret by interpret interpreting uh, the AFM uh, images, we can uh, see the, uh, we can observe the diameter of uh, uh, our uh, nanostructures. So here for the uh, nano peaks, we can observe that it's about uh, 20 nanometers. And here on the right, we have the transmission electron microscopy uh, uh, results in good resolution. So maybe because it's, it was so important to observe it because sometimes we can be mistaken by using only the AFM. So here uh, it's really complementary and uh, it, uh, it's clear that what, what we are observing, it's really uh, correct also. And uh, for the nano peaks, it has only diameter of 20 nanometers and uh, a height of 100. And for the nano bumps, also here we can observe it has diameter around 65 nanometers. And here for the nano humps and nano cavities, uh, we have diameter uh, around 30 nanometers and periodicity here 50 nanometers and here 80 nanometers. And uh, for nano peaks and nano bumps, uh, uh, we, we think that they are potentially resulting from ter thermoconvective instabilities. However, from uh, for the nano humps and nano cavities, they are uh, resulting from hydrothermal flows, which develop a thermoconvective instability at the nano scale. And um, now I'm presenting uh, uh, the role of init initial surface topography in controlling uh, the nano structures. So. <clears throat> Here we have two samples. Uh, the first sample here, uh, here we have the sample before laser radiation, and here also, but uh, for sample one, it was uh, polished uh, by using automatic uh, mechanical polishing uh, up to silis colloidal and before di uh, diamond up to silis colloidal with 0 0.05 micrometer. And uh, we observed that uh, the roughness here uh, uh, is 1.28 nanometer and it's below roughness threshold that was found before and should be below five nanometers. And, uh, and uh, the maximum and minimum, uh, they are between four and minus six. So it's uh, almost flat surface. And we can see that it's spiky surface because the kurtosis is uh, above three and it's 7.5. So, and we also we can observe this from the AFM uh, image and it's spiky surface. However, the second sample, it was uh, polished by uh, electro electrochemical polishing. And we can see that the surface is bumpy and uh, here it's between 16 and minus 15. And the roughness, it was uh, uh, around uh, 4.4 nanometers, and, but it was bumpy and the kurtosis was less than three. So we did the same experiment. It was for the nano bumps. <coughs> sorry. And uh, we observed that uh, uh, the concentration, uh, it was not the same uh, uh, for, for the two samples. So here uh, we can see that uh, 
the initial surface uh, topography also uh, can modify uh, uh, what we want to obtain after the laser irradiation. So um, maybe here the spiky surface also plays a role in, uh, in increasing the uh, uh, surface uh, absorbance to, to the energy, and uh, that's why maybe we have uh, more uh, concentration. Okay, now uh, now I want to continue discussing, but I will be talking about the nano peaks. So here we uh, we choose the nano peaks as because we think that we have uh, pot uh, it's, we have potential uh, uh, applications, and uh, we think that it's more important also. So now I'll be I will be more investigate investigating in uh, with the nano peaks. So here we are uh, we are taking the nano peaks, but why we ca we cannot uh, try to produce it by using a single pulse and double pulse so as i showed before we are using cross polarized uh, so uh, perpendicular one horizontal one vertical and there is time delay also and uh, it's it's not so easy to produce it there is a little bit complexity so uh, um, the question is uh, is it possible to produce it by using only one polarization uh, one beam uh, horizontal or vertical and uh, what will happen if we try to produce it? So here I tried different parameters by using one pulse, two pulse with a little bit higher energy because if I want to use only uh, one polarization with 25 pulses as I'm doing in general, I would be obtaining HSFL. Uh, so uh, here uh, we tried, uh, with, uh, we increased a little bit the energy, but only one pulse and two pulses. So, um, and here, this is uh, obtained before. So here on the map images, uh, we can observe a little bit the difference. We can see that this is maybe more arranged. Here it's not so clear. Maybe uh, it's not uh, the contrast also. We can observe that it's not uh, much high. Um, and the, here I did the FFT also, and we can observe the contrast here in the FFT. It's more arranged, and uh, the periodicity here is uh, 7 nanometer. Here we don't have much uh, things uh, like here. And uh, and now I took uh, like uh, two by two micrometer uh, uh, here. Uh, I did the test on AFM two by two micrometer, and I obtained this result here on the right. So here we can clearly observe that there is difference on the height. So by using this uh, one pulse that was 0 0.6, we observed that the maximum height was only 23.6 nanometers. So it's much different. Uh, from what we, we, we are obtaining, and this one is much more uh, uh, special and original. And here also it was like the max is about 54, and it's not on all the surface, it's for a few uh, 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 nano peaks. So uh, here we can clearly observe the difference, and also here at right, on the right we have uh, uh, interpreted the map images uh, uh, in 3D by using uh, Gridion software. So also we can a little bit observe the concentration and here we have more concentration compared with here and here. And, uh, and here also I'm, uh, I tried to uh, do uh, uh, interpretation with uh, image here to uh, uh, calculate the concentration. So uh, we can see also that uh, the concentration uh, uh, on the sea, uh, so when we are using 25 pulses cross polarized, is much uh, is more than uh, uh, A and B. So it's uh, it's 14 compared to 10 and less than 10. So uh, that's why we are using double poles. Uh, otherwise, we cannot uh, obtain the same uh, originality uh, of our nano peaks. And now I will discuss a little bit uh, of, on the effect of uh, pulse duration on nano peaks formation. So what will happen if we try to fix the other parameters, but only play with the pulse, uh, with the pulse duration? So in general, the pulse duration was around 150 femtosecond. Now I tried to change it and uh, to modif to change it between 70, 100, 250, up to 500 femtosecond. So here we have the map images. We don't, we cannot see much more difference. Only we can see a little bit here the contrast. Maybe we can see small difference, and also on the FFT. But uh, on the AFM images, we can uh, we, it's clear that uh, they don't have the uh, the same height. So uh, so here between A and B, we we, we think it's almost the same uh, uh, height. However, here while increasing uh, 
the pulse duration, we start reducing the height of these nanostructures to 77, the maximum, and 66, uh, the maximum when it's 500. And here on the right, also, I did the uh, uh, interpretation on image G, and also we observed the, the concentration. Here it was only small area here on, on the large area, so here it was not possible. It's not fair here to, to discuss about the concentration, but here it's more fair. So um, we can see also how the concentration has increased, why uh, has decreased, why increasing the pulse duration. So uh, so now uh, I think that uh, we can control the concentration, we can control the nano peaks height, and uh, and uh, this is good. Also, after if we want to find the application, we can we have we know how to modify a little bit uh, nano peaks. And now about the nano peaks mechanism. Now it's always uh, in progress uh, here, and we are still working uh, on the to to understand the mechanism. So here uh, we are fixing the pulse duration to 150, but we are trying to uh, change the pulse duration. Uh, sorry, the number of pulse. So uh, here uh, we have number of pulse between 10 up to 40, and also here we have between 10 and 50 also. And uh, we can see that the counts uh, per micrometer squared of the nano peaks, how it's increasing by increasing the uh, number of pulse, and we have maximum between uh, 25 and 27, we can say. And when we are increasing more, the nano peaks start to reduce because uh, we, we are starting to create ripples, and here on the cows, we, we have almost nothing. And here on the beginning, we have some crests. And uh, if we want to uh, improve the resolution. I will, I'm presenting the AFM uh, images uh, with a better resolution, and here also it's in progress. So uh, we can see that uh, at the low pulses, uh, at start, uh, we have some nano cavities formation, and after when increasing the number of pulses to 15, uh, we can uh, start seeing that uh, we have some crest and it's turning to nano peaks, and we can see that some nano peaks started forming, and here it's growing. Uh, at 18, and after that, it's well formed at 25 pulses. And also here, in, if we want to change the scale, uh, also we can observe uh, the convection cells, and uh, it's about uh, the periodicity is about 75 uh, nanometers. And while increasing the number of pulses, also here it's increasing compared to 12. And while increasing more to 16, we can see the crests uh, growing between the convective cells. And I also, we can see the nano peaks, uh, how it started to form on the crest. And here also, uh, when increasing to the number of pulse 20, it's, it's uh, started also to, to form more on the nano peaks. And here at 25, we have the uniform nano peaks with a height up to 100 nanometers. And uh, now also we are working, uh, this is our future work, and also we started. So now we are trying uh, to uh, increase uh, the, uh, the irradiation of, of the, uh, and try to produce these nanopics on a larger surface. So because we are aiming to find uh, some applications. So here we did many experiments in, in order to find the best coverage uh, and uh, in order to be able to produce it on large surface. And uh, for the time being, uh, it's not perfect, but uh, we have improved and uh, we are not far from uh, succeeding to uh, produce it on large surface. So, uh, and our next step also is to try to produce it on, uh, on uh, Titan. Uh, so now also we are working uh, uh, <clears throat> to have uh, a good uh, electro polishing and mechanical polishing in order to continue our uh, observation on uh, on Titan, and also we are aiming to produce it on large surface on the Titan, also aiming to have uh, uh, some applications. So, um, and this is a pro uh, progress, uh, progress of uh, my thesis. So for the time being, uh, um, uh, we are in this, I'm in the second year, and uh, here for the Biblium and the mechanism identification, we are still working now here, and already we have uh, succeeded to publish one article, and uh, now we are working on second article. And uh, we have done many characterizations. And uh, also now we are working uh, uh, to uh, increase uh, uh, to, for a larger surface. So now we are here and already we have sent one uh, sample for uh, testing some properties. And uh, also we are now choosing another material, which, which is Titan, and we are trying uh, to work on the Titan aiming for applications. So thank you for uh, your presence.